Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So guys, let's try to create the trading plan for the beginning of the next week on the euro currency. Well, uh, the higher time frames of the monthly and weekly chart contain some interesting and significant moments. And I strongly suggest that you still will find the time and just take at least brief look at our analysis of the higher time frames. That just will make your understanding of the daily research of the daily picture uh, better and you just will clearly understand what we could expect and how the daily picture uh, stands the takes the part in the higher time frame chart in the high picture the broader picture on the weekly and monthly time frame chart well uh, but this is the video research it's daily and it's uh, limited by the just daily analysis and the intraday charts although we know that the the price action and the overall context on the euro currency currently is bullish still as we said on Friday market has hit some resistance that is daily overbought you can see this is the later predictor also that is the target of this greater ABCD pattern on daily time frame this is the 618 target and that is also 127 extension of that retracement that also works as some resistance well there are a couple of moments to discuss here First of all, we know that in such circumstances, probability suggests that we should be ready for some bounce down. And speaking from the Dinapoli framework, in fact, we have set up for the Kibi trade. The Kibi trade is the combination of the target, the objective point from some ABCD extension, and overbought or oversold. In our case, this is overbought combined by, uh, accompanied by the 618 extension target. That is the setup for the short term a scalp Kibi trade on the intraday charts. Well, we will speak a bit about the Kibi a bit later, and mostly this will uh, real, ha, will have the relation to the intraday traders for scalp traders who have the skills and uh, knowledge possibility for trading on the intraday charts. For others who trade on daily time frame, this just mean uh, this means that we just should be ready for some retracement down. So our task on the daily time frame chart. Uh, as market has hit our uh, grabbers target that was here okay we have the grabbers here on the weekly time frame and market has hit it now our concern our target is to understand where we could take the long position and how we could take it speaking about the first task uh, I don't know what about you guys but I like this level that marked by this uh, red rectangle why uh, you could ask uh, take a look at this level because it's also accompanied by the weekly pivot point that is 134.75 area well that probably so and I can't exclude that market could bounce right from this level and start moving to the upside but probability suggests that this should be deeper retracement because market had ever bought and we do not very interesting with the nearest support level to enter on the long side of the market uh, due to this reason that's why we should look for a bit deeper support area and the strongest support and I like this level because that is the confidence support that is the weekly pivot support one this green line is 133.74 area and that is also previous highs that have been broken take a look that this level stands slightly higher than this major consolidation so market will pierce a bit this area to the downside will find support some, somewhere inside of this confidence support that will be nice well, uh, that's why I think that this level is more suitable for searching the possibility to enter on the long side of the uh, long si side of the market rather than this one. Also, we know that when the market turns to retracement within the long-term bull trend, the weekly pivot support one should hold this retracement. So that will be not pure action. The market will reach the weekly pivot support one, retest these broken highs, and turn to the upside. At the same time. That will be uh, ultimately suitable retracement for uh, 
for ABCD patient that just has hit the 618 extension. So th that will be just the 38 support of this move to upside. That's absolutely normal. That is not the deep retracement. The deeper move will be already some warning sign because market has hit just minor target. Well, but this level, level is suitable for both reasons. As for retracement in the condition of the overbought, as for hidden minor target. That will not be the deep retracement. It's normal retracement for hitting the 618 target. That's why I think I, I think that that's very uh, nice area for searching possibility to enter on the long side of the market. Second moment. Somehow I thought about the potential of the Jordan Napoli brand body trade here. Well, guys, here we in fact uh, it's a bit tricky moment because here we do not have the sufficient number of thrusting candles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just seven bars to the upside. But we have this strong action to the upside. We have the gap that hasn't been closed yet. Just for a few pips, it, it's, it's still open. At least by Alpari UK data. Well, uh, and I just thought, could we have here the brand by the buy? And why not? Maybe we could call it as a lookalike because we do not have sufficient number of candles here. But in general, this thrust looks nice for a brand by the buy. Uh, I do not want to make this setup as the uh, major setup for trading on the daily time frame. But I think that this is this scenario that we should keep an eye on. If market will form some kind of the brand by the buy, that will give us the huge assistance for the trading. Especially if it will happen somewhere in that area. That will be just excellent. So let's keep in mind this uh, possibility also. Now let's shift to the hourly time frame and speak about the Kibi trade. Well, uh, the Kibi trade, uh, at least I, I'm, I'm not the big expert in trading on the Kibi because uh, I've not uh, traded very often and have not traded it very often. But the major rule suggests that when market creates the setup of the Kibi trade on the high time frame, for us this is the daily chart, and we have this setup, drop your time frame, so we have dropped it to the hourly chart. When uh, wait when the market will shift trend to the bearish. So now we see that market has shifted trend to the bearish, and take the position, short position at the first upward retracement. So theoretically the position should 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 be taken right here. Okay. Is the target Kiwi trade should be uh, taking some extension to the downside, usually ABCD or some significant support, uh, maybe some other targets if market will create some pattern, for instance. Although Jordan Apple do not trade uh, and has 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 uh, such patrons as the head and shoulders, uh, double taps in in the framework. But if market will form something of that sort, you could take some different pa pattern. Uh, the Napoli framework suggests the taking some extension. ABCD, for instance. So uh, the potential target of this KB trade down is the 134.90, 100% extension of this ABCD, or 1618 extensions, 134.50 area. Well, since we at ever bought and since weekly pivot points stand slightly lower than this target, well, very probable that more reasonable is taking the 134.50 area. Very probable that market could reach it. And take a look. Uh, although we have skipped this, skipped this entry, now we have two side by side bearish stop grabbers. That is the two days, two, two candle stop grab grabber, trying to shift trend to the bullish failure. Here I do not know whether we have the stop grabber or not, but here we also have the stop grabber. So that led us to place stop much closer. And minimum target of these stop grabbers will be this low. So this, uh, if you're a scalp trader, I, I hope this will uh, help you to make the decision whether to take this position or not. In general, will help you somehow because uh, the Kibi trade is some sort of the stretch pattern, and it, this suggests the counter trade, counter trend action. Uh, that's why it, it carries uh, more risk. It's more risky than just trading on the trend. That's why I'm not very big fan of this. But if you still the search possibility to take the short that's interesting for you, uh, you could try it. You could uh, just at least think about it. Well, using these stop grabbers for entering short and taking some profit here or here. When the market will start to move to the minimum target of the stop grabber, you will be able to move your stop to the break even. So that's how uh, 
the situation with the Kibi trade could be played. But this is only for those who have the skills and who trade on the intraday charts because this is the su suggest the significant risk and re really fast action. So guys, that is not for for everybody. Uh, for daily traders who trade on the on the daily time frame, we just need to wait when this retracement will over and when the market will hit and reach this level, we will start to search the possibility to enter on the long side of the market. We'll start to search the patterns around it on the intraday charts that will let us to take the long position.